In this video tutorial I want to talk about how we can use sweep 1 which you can find in the surface and the submenu freeform here sweep 1. I want to talk about how we can use sweep 1 to produce a parametric surface. In this example I'm going to use the most simple method. It's a single rail and only one section but you can use multiple sections to produce uh, a comprehensive surface from the sweep uh, as an output. So First of all, we can find it by double clicking and searching for SWE. You can see that we have two sweeps sweep 1, sweep 2. Okay, so I'm going to right click on the rail and extract that to set it to a curve so we have the rail. And now if we want to give it a section, if I set this curve uh, as a section, you can see that uh, the result is not correct because uh, the section should be at a perpendicular frame at the rate. So what we need here is to transform uh, this section from the ground into the curve. So you can uh, just search like ORI orient or just go to the transform and use the orient tool to just uh, move it and transform this section from the ground onto the rate. Uh, first I'm going to give this section to the geometry uh, the source plane uh, from where should we move this we can move it from the center we can move it from the corner and you can decide how you can how you want to transform or move this section so what I will do is give it a point so let's just set a point here and there's a shortcut in Grasshopper. If you give a point to a plane, what will happen is it assumes that it's an XY plane. So it's just simply uh, equal to give it an, to an XY plane as the source plane. So here you can use this shortcut. Whenever you have an XY plane, you can just avoid using a plane in the middle and just connect the point uh, directly to the source. And the target here, we should make a plane so we can move that. And for producing the target plane, we can use a perpendicular frame. So if you just search PER, you can see there's a perpendicular frame. I can uh, connect this uh, the curve to the perpendicular frame uh, input. And what it does, it, uh, it just actually extracts a perpendicular frame from the curve but remember there's a domain for the curve let me just connect a domain from the main menu if I go to the primitives and uh, use a domain here okay and just connect this to a panel you can see that it has a um, uh, there's a domain from 0 to 153 so if you want to give it at the end you have to give 153 to the perimeter here and you can see that we have the perpendicular frame here but uh, simply if you just right click on the uh, curve and reparameterize it we have 0 to 1 so we can actually give a 1 to it or a 0 to go from start to end so I just wanted to talk about the reparameterize here so you can understand that we can change the domain and reparameterize the domain from its actual domain to 0 to 1. So uh, what we will do here is to give this to the target. So we are moving the section from an XY plane from this point to uh, a perpendicular frame. Let me just make this bigger so you can see okay and that's the plane so the section goes there and now we can use it as a real section because we've just transformed it from the ground so let me give 
let me give this here. Okay, you can see that we have a parametric sweep here. We can just move the curve and have different results. And actually, we can just uh, cap this sweep so we can have a solid. Okay, let me just bake this so you can see the results. And here you go. We have a solid from that section. We can easily change the section. Assume that just I uh, I put the points on and change these points. You can see that I'm updating the sweep. And actually, you can use whatever you want. So uh, we can use a elliptical curve here and give it to the section but actually you have to provide the points so uh, what I want to talk about here is to uh, make it an automatic point for the source so we can just delete this and use an area so we can extract the area of the elliptical curve and give it to the source and you can see that you can also use the area tool to uh, just orient that section from the center and you can just change the section easily or whatever you want okay this is a custom section and it will use the air centroid to transform the section so actually this is the example I wanted to talk about sweep you can easily use it to uh, make a surface from a rail and for multiple sections I will uh, talk about multiple sections in the grasshopper course I will uh, soon give, uh, give multiple lessons on the grasshopper so you can understand how to uh, be a professional in grasshopper because I have just uh, taught grasshopper for about eight years so uh, th uh, these examples or tutorials are just simple uh, once so you can understand what's happening in Grasshopper. Uh, we, ha we will have a comprehensive uh, uh, course on this, so stay tuned and thank you for watching.